What's up everybody? I'm outside the theater right now to see Bad Boys Ride or Die. I'm not expecting this to be much different from the other Bad Boys movies. I'm expecting them to be funny. Uh, I'm expecting some good action. I actually enjoyed the last one more than the first two Michael Bay directed ones. Expecting to enjoy this one just as much, even though the last one I only gave you know, a six out of 10. I'm, I'm kind of expecting to fall around here similarly. Um, the trailers have been, you know, kind of funny. Um, recently, they've been posting some behind the scenes footage of uh, them shooting the action scenes, which looked pretty cool, got some traction on Twitter. I'm excited to see some of that stuff. And uh, who knows, maybe I'll, I'll really enjoy myself. Um, like I said, I really, I thought the last one was the best one. So, you know, maybe they can continue that trend and uh, this one's the best one out of all four. So um, I'll be back after the movie to tell you my thoughts. All right, so I just got out of seeing Bad Boys Ride or Die. Um, and overall, I think if you know what a Bad Boys movie is, then you'll know what to expect going into this one. Um, you know, they don't really change up their formula too much, which, you know, the things that work really well for them work really well. I think that uh, the chemistry between Martin Lawrence and Will Smith, always funny to watch them. Um, they're incredible together. I would watch a movie just of the two of them hanging out. I honestly might even prefer that. Um, they're, they're a lot of fun, uh, the two of them together always. You know, their other strength is honestly the the style you know michael bay has such a strong style that he obviously brings to the originals but i've been really enjoying what i've been seeing out of these two directors i think they go by adil and bilal i hope i'm not butchering their names but i saw them do the previous bad boys movie which i thought was the best one and then i saw them do ms marvel i liked a lot of the action in that um and you know i liked what they brought to this i think that they have a very unique style um that's still reminiscent of michael bay and it fits really well in the it fits really really well in this franchise um but overall you know they don't really switch up the formula it's a pretty cut and dry story nothing inventive as far as the genre per se but there are a lot of little flourishes of the camera that these directors bring to this movie which i really appreciate um especially in something that you think you've seen a million times before it's a lot of fun it's cool to see them do some new things with the camera that i haven't seen before um, and like I said, I really appreciate the kind of the style and the, the, the filmmaking techniques that they brought to this. Um, so if you like bad boys, you'll like this again, nothing new. And overall, I, and I think my score is going to have to be a six out of 10. It's exactly what I was expecting, but that doesn't mean I didn't have a good time. So that's it.